Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Repton The Lost Realms. I am playing the Lento set of levels, um, which is my own set. I designed all six of them and we are on screen C. Ah, I wondered if at some point we'd have a white level, and we do. Blue and white this time. Um, <laughs> this... So, Absorbency 3. So, we're in a bit of a maze right at the start, having to find our way out. So, I can immediately see that there are several ways to reach the next pill, digging only three doors. I could go up and right, or right and up. That gets me to this pill, so I now have two free doors that I can open, so if I do, let's say that, that seems the most productive, then take the pill. A little bit of a look over here at what some more characters look like with the white graphics. I think the door is maybe a little bit, looks a little bit strange, but everything else I'm happy with. Okay. Made it out of that section. Okay, I was wondering for a moment if this would be a level without a map, but... It isn't. I cannot remember at this point in time what decisions I made about maps or not. So I do see that if I enter the area above on the left, it gets blocked up off. But on the right, it um, actually uh, no, it doesn't um, because the 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 rock will fall behind me as I enter that the area from the right. But the balloon could be used to reopen it later. So, um, I do need to, um, I need to enter this area before doing anything else because the other bottom chambers are behind safes. So spirit inside this skull enclosure. I see, I bet this spirit needs to be brought from this enclosure to the other one on the left to open the white cage there, and that one will contain the blue spirit needed to get to the key. And then after taking the key, I have the possibility, if I'm clever enough, of using a rock to block off the fungus. Okay, I like this. So, so one thing is that having the entrance here, blocked like this, is that the spirits won't go into the outer corridor, which would have slowed things down a bit. I really should use the map mostly to plan this out. Um, okay, I can see a way to connect this fairly easily, actually. So, one balloon there, one there, and one there. Done. Uh, we have rocks as well as balloons for the rest of the enclosures. I think it might be easier to use rocks because, well, I say that and then almost immediately find... Um, uh, ah, I see. If I put the rock here, like that, then the rock is both part of that um, connection and can be used to keep the fungus under control later. Then I just have to connect this, which should not be difficult now. And one nice thing about the enclosures being four tiles wide, is that even if you don't remember which way one colour of spirit goes, you can always uh, just wait for the spirit to be on the wide end away from the player. 
and then you'll know it's safe to release it. Okay, so here I see what's going on. I'll take the freeze pill, take that and then run around and shuffle the rock. I don't know how long the freeze pill lasts on this level. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better. No, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better not to take it. Another shuffle there. Or I could open the door because I think I finished... Yes, I finished the first puzzle with one absorbency to spare. A little diamonds and balloons puzzle. Um, this is actually fairly easy. Just push this one all the way, then this one. Uh, there was an egg over here, yes. And this looks symmetrical. Okay, so in a situation like this, with two rocks, it would be the one on the right that falls first. With balloons, it's also the one on the right. Good to know. So do that to stop the corner diamond be being trapped. Oh, this is fun. So I'll let the egg break on the earth and then kill it with the balloon. Actually, let's do the bottom left first. I was a little curious about this because I noticed... Oh, that's cute. Two spirits <laughs> going through cages of the wrong colour. And when I drop the rocks in the corners, they will both hit them and presumably both be directed to the correct cage. Ah... <laughs> Sometimes it would be nice if you could see just one more row or column. <laughs> so here the main puzzle is getting down to the bottom right corner. So I might want to put that there temporarily. Oh, that, that's where the orb is. And that is the bottom. Okay. So, I'd like you to come above that rock. There we go. Now, I wonder if I can get down just by shunting everything to the left. Or maybe this one to the right and everything else to the left. Um... Ooh, time. Are there any time capsules on... Ooh. <laughs> that's, th that's an unfortunate uh, bug in the game. <laughs> I think, actually, I um, may have reported that and it may have gotten released before we... Um, may have gotten fixed before we released the game, but um, I'm not sure. Anyway, there are no time capsules on the map, but then, as always, I have spent 
more time than usual just because I've been explaining things as I go along. So, Time Bomb is right here. But that was the first level I've played so far where I've actually run into time trouble, um, except for Largo Screen B, which is the one that's just a maze, and there's nothing to it except memorising the correct directions through the maze. Anyway, ooh. <laughs> time limit is 4,000 for this, so that could be tricky unless there are plenty of time capsules. Let's find out. Um, blackout. I wonder if that means no map. It does. And this is a maze. Oh, dear. <sighs> so, yellow spirit could go... Well, I presumably want it to go to the second cage to get the pill. So let me get the... Um, to... Let me get the spirit for the other cage. Oh dear. There are time capsules at least. And there's another yellow spirit. So I think I've done everything in that area. Um, safe. I do need to get another pill. And it's, yeah, it's one per pill in this level. There's our key. So I need to take this and find another pill. Or I could have... Okay, so when I get another pill, I'll spend it there first. But where will I find another pill? There's a yellow spirit that probably will... Oh my... Um, pill. Good. I'll take one time capsule now. No, I won't. I've only used half the time limit. So, no need to panic. But what I need to do is bring this pill down here. Open this door first and let the purple spirit go into it because that puzzle in the corner will give me another pill. Then I'll spend that one getting to the key. I hope that there isn't a rock on safe trap somewhere in the level. And this time, because I don't expect to come back to this part of the level, I will take the time capsule on my way out. Mm, I think I heard something falling. Hard to be sure, though. So, yellow spirits will tend to go here. So I want to open the cage first that lets the purple spirit out in case the... Uh, magenta, sorry, in case the magenta spirit is needed, which it is, to access the next yellow spirit. One thing about playing my own levels is that even if it's a level set, I um, I'm not it, the, uh, that I <laughs> collided with the spirit because I was too distracted by what I was saying. Even if it's a level set that I haven't um, seen in so long that I've completely forgotten the levels. I do always know how I think. <laughs> That's not going to go away. <laughs> ah, I missed the turning. So one thing that's nice is that that seems to be relatively self-contained. I don't have to worry about spirit paths going all over the level. Uh, that's done now. So there's a 
another magenta spirit. Was there? There is another cage up there. I think these must be the last two spirits. I wonder where that transporter goes, though. So if I go here, yes, this will lead to the last yellow cage. Transporter might go to the space I saw in that puzzle area, maybe. So this looks horrendous, but it's probably going to be... Well, I, I said that about an area in... Um, in the Semplice set, and I was quickly proved wrong, but I think... I, I can't stop to dawdle, though, so I'm going to just try to press my way down. So ma mainly it's just a matter of making sure that neither a rock nor balloon is following dead on my heels and about to kill me. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I really shouldn't have done that. What if I pile up there, and then let this one go onto the side? No. <laughs> no. Okay, well, let's find out where the transport goes. It goes back to a place near the start. Behind a time capsule. Um... So I will have to reload and do that far left area again, but first let's see if I can solve this without blocking the way out. So presumably I just want to have done the right hand half first so that I can push that rock there. Yep. Okay, and that space was just in case you carelessly pushed a balloon there and trapped the last diamond. Okay, I'll pause and uh, see you in a moment. Okay, so I'm here just before taking this time capsule to give myself the maximum possible amount of time, and I've cleared up everything in the level except this puzzle area. So I'm going to start as before. I'm creating some space at the top to give myself a bit of a buffer. And then where possible, I'd like to move rocks to the side so they don't bother me. Let's try coming down here. Now, those rocks below and right of me are going to get, be difficult to get past, so I might want to pile rocks there and come down on the left. It's hard to judge at the moment the impact of any decisions I'm making, since there's no map. But I can at least get to the bottom now. Having got to the bottom means I cannot be stuck by rocks coming down, although I can be stuck by balloons. So now let's try to go back up. And this time, so I'll push this balloon to the side. Hmm, the transporter may come in very handy here, actually. Well, I can push that balloon there, come past it. Now, am I blocked higher up? No, so I can push rocks down this funnel, so to speak. I think I'm right and they will go 
all the way to the bottom, which in turn means that it's okay for balloons to go up there. This is <laughs> really interesting and strange puzzle room. Okay, so the transport is mainly so that I can... I don't have to think about blocking that exit. Now I can let all these balloons go up. Just taking the diamonds and stepping aside for maximum safety. And that is all the diamonds on the level. Time getting close, but no problem, especially as I know that this puts me right behind another time capsule. And now I just need to find the time bomb. I think there's only the one. Okay, that turned out to be really interesting and fun. And I say this maybe speaking as someone who has a higher tolerance for mazes and wandering around blindly and exploring than some other people do. So that level might not be to everyone's taste. And uh, if if the game ever does, if the follow up set ever does get released, and you play it and you don't enjoy it, then then I apologise for that. But I had fun with it. Screen D is done, and there are two more left. And as before, I'm going to try to get through those in one video next time. So thank you for watching, and see you then.